I don't care that I'm almost 30. I love stuffed animals. Good morning, guys. So ignore my made up face and my still wet hair. I literally just walked out of the shower. But today is another kind of wide open day that I don't really have any huge pressing tasks that need to be done. So it's kind of just open to do whatever I want to do with it. Um, I know I want to throw a couple of loads of laundry in. I have like this laundry basket down in the basement where I just throw kind of like, I don't know, miscellaneous towels or I don't even know. It's just for random stuff. that's like not clothes or like, you know, just random stuff like cleaning towels maybe that have no designated like time to get washed. I just kind of wait till it piles up to wash it. Anyways, that laundry basket is full. So I want to do uh, at least one load of laundry clearing out that laundry basket. Um, other than that, I want to try and start maybe working on my 2018 family yearbook. Um, since it's no longer 2018, I obviously have all the pictures that I need to, um, you know, have to put in the yearbook so I can start um, putting that together. I'm just waiting on Miles to put the last of his pictures from last year into our shared... Well, the way we do it is we have a shared... Um, photos like in the photos app on our iPhones we have a shared album that um throughout the year theoretically we would be feeding pictures in although we both kind of fell behind so I think this year I'm going to try and actually set a reminder on my phone at the end of every single month to make sure that I am regularly adding pictures to that so that it doesn't become a huge task at the end of the year like it is right now <laughs> but anyways um I have all of my pictures in there I have most of Miles's pictures in there I'm just waiting for the last couple um, I think some just pictures from December from Miles, um, and then I'll have all the pictures, but I can get a start on it. So I think I might kind of try and start developing a game plan, just getting things, you know, ready and in order and set up so that I can actually get started on that project because I really don't want to fall behind on that one. So yeah, I might try and do a little bit of that work today, but we will see. spent the last like hour just kind of doing honestly like odd jobs around the house um emptying all the trash cans for trash night uh tidying up random things here and there around the house oh and also this is exciting getting everything ready um to go to social security tomorrow to finally change my last name i've had like the paperwork all ready and stuff for i don't know like a year or so um but honestly, I've just been avoiding going to the social security office because it's just such a pain and I know I'm going to have to just sit there and like, I mean, it's like going to the DMV. No one wants to go to these, you know, government type buildings and just sit in line for all day and uh, I'm not looking forward to it. But luckily I roped my mom into keeping me company so she's going with me tomorrow and I will finally get my last name changed. Um, I'm kind of putting a rush on it because I believe Bobby, I believe you were the one who told me that after two, like... After two years after getting married, the Social Security office starts kind of getting fussy. So um, our two year legally being married is actually on February 2nd. If you guys were following me way back when, we actually went to the courthouse and got married February 2nd um, before like a couple months before our actual wedding on June 2nd. So um, yeah, our two year anniversary is coming up very fast. So I want to make sure I don't have to jump through any more hoops to get my name changed then I already have to, you know, regularly. So yeah, I have everything all ready and collected by the front door, ready to go tomorrow. I have like, you know, my passport, birth certificate, marriage license, all that fun stuff, and all the appropriate forms filled out. So yeah, I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. I've already like changed my name on um, Facebook, but obviously with like everything else, I'm still kind of using my um, maiden name because it's just easier for a lot of things. They like need your actual legal name because it's still attached to like, you know, your identity obviously and like your bank account so when placing online orders I still have to use my maiden name when filling in payment information and all that stuff so I've just been in this weird limbo of using both names and just kind of being able to use my married name when it's only like you know a socially required name and not actually anything like official if that makes any sense at all but um yeah I'm really excited to officially 100% legally be a Rosner and so tomorrow is honestly only the first step to doing that after I get my name changed to social security I'm still gonna to need to go to the DMV and get a new driver's license and I'm also gonna to have to change my name with all my banks all my subscriptions all my like everything so 
yeah, but hopefully um, Social Security and DMV are just going to be the two pain in the butt things that I need to do. And after that, hopefully it'll be pretty painless. I'm hoping crossing my fingers, but yeah, I'm excited to get this process rolling. Okay, so again, it's a little later in the day and I've kind of just been, I guess, tidying up my office is pretty much what I've been doing mostly. Um, I have like just piles of stuff here and there that just, you know, never got dealt with over, you know, since moving in or whatever. So I've just been kind of slowly going through things, slowly organizing things. I still am not anywhere near being done with my office, but um, yeah, just tackling those little projects kind of I don't know, help make it that much closer. So anyways, I thought now was as good a time as any to give you a tour of where things currently are and hopefully over the next couple of weeks, months, whatever, um, I'm actually gonna get my home office, you know, decorated and set up exactly how I want it. So anyways, without further ado, here we are. All right, so this is the view from the hallway. You walk right in and see my desk area in front of you. But I'm going to start kind of at the door and then go around the edge of the room, I guess, from here. So, this is just a random table. It used to be over um, in the corner where that chair is, and then when I got rid of the um, desk that connected to my Expedit system, um, I was using it as my temporary desk. I'm not quite sure if I want to keep this up here and kind of, you know, give it a function in my office, or if I want to bring it down to the basement and use it for something there. I haven't really decided, so I'm kind of just living with it here for now and seeing if a, you know, need for it pops up. If not, I'll probably put it down in the basement. Um, this is a pile of clothes that I have listed on Poshmark. This is my printer and my silhouette um, waiting to find a permanent home. <laughs> They're just kind of sitting on a uh, floor pillow thing. Uh, ring light and actual room light. And then over here, well first of all, that's a pile of clothes that need to be photographed and put on Poshmark. And then this is my um, vanity part of the room. So yeah, this whole kind of setup is just for my makeup, my jewelry. Eventually I will hang um, a mirror over my vanity and I wanna hang up that um, picture of the dresses that I got from Ikea. And I think it's actually a really cute uh, print for a vanity area. I'm gonna hang that up on that wall. And yeah, I just need to super tidy up this spot because I don't want my um, surfaces to be that cluttered over here. So still a work in progress. <laughs> There's the air conditioner that Miles promised he had taken out for me, but I told him he was wrong. Turns out air conditioner is still in the window. <laughs> Who knows if that'll be taken out or if we'll just leave it in all winter until the summer, but ideally they're taken out during the winter. But anyways, this is my filming corner. And right now it's just kind of like a chair with, um, one of those little kind of faux fur throw rug things under it. But this weekend, I actually have plans to like actually turn this into a filming corner and give it a little bit of a backdrop. And so I'm really, really excited to get that all put together so I can show you guys, um, yeah, what I have in mind for that area. And I think it's gonna look really, really cute. And then next to that is my Expedit shelves. I absolutely love these shelves. And they used to be, um, if you've been following for a while, they used to be connected to my desk. So I had a tabletop that was kind of connected um, to these two cubes and it would just kind of come out and down to form a desktop. Um, but yeah, I just outgrew that and I really wanted um, just a different setup. So I took away the desk, but I definitely kept the shelves. And this is kind of how they look right now. They, I don't know, aren't the worst, but I would like them to be a little more styled and a little less cluttered ideally. So I will definitely be working a little bit on that. And then the top isn't really styled at all. I need to find a spot for that lamp. I'm not really sure it'll work on my desk. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanna find a spot for it. So still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. And then over here, this is my desk area. It's definitely not like all super neat right now, but um, yeah, this is just how it looks right now. So I have my new Alex desk, and then on that I have the, on top of that, I have the Alex desk topper, um, my computer, my extra screen, and then I try and keep this part of the desk as clear as possible so I can, you know, use it. <laughs> Um, behind that, I have this set of Alex drawers that just has a whole bunch of different stuff in it. It has all my extra um, pens, it has uh, notepads, just, you know, a bunch of extra um, office stuff. And then, yeah, the top of that, again, isn't really set up. It just kind of has a whole bunch of clutter. However, it's kind of starting to take a little bit more shape um, with today's 
cleaning, decluttering type stuff because there was definitely a lot more junk on there previously. And so I'm slowly trying to, you know, weed out and put away things and turn this into an actual workable workspace. I don't really have like a final image for what I want to use this space for, but I definitely know I want it to be kind of an additional functional workspace if that makes any sense. Okay, and to the right of those Alex drawers, this is kind of the main hub of clutter that has been accumulated in my office. And actually, this is quite a lot cleaner than it was earlier today. So um, this is the corner of my office that everything that didn't really have a spot or still needed to be hung up or put away or whatever since we moved in has been put. So yeah, this little corner has just been filled with stuff ever since we moved into the house and I'm finally kind of trying to slowly go through things and really put it all away so that, um, yeah, there's not clutter on my floor anymore. Um, that big thing is the mirror that's going over my vanity. That frame is the frame that's gonna go around the mirror above my vanity. This is kind of like an organizational thing. I believe it's by Pottery Barn Teen. Um, and that might go on the wall right here. It has like a chalkboard, um, a cork board, a dry erase board, just kind of all sorts of different organizational things. And so I think, yeah, I think I am going to hang it up right here. So it's kind of close and easy to access from my desk. Um, this is what my closet looks like. And I actually cleared off this little like kind of hallway thing. It used to have a whole bunch of stuff filling it up. And now you can actually walk in the narrow, tiny hallway in the closet. But um, yeah, the closet as a whole definitely needs a whole lot of help. Um, there's a little bit of structure to it, but not much. So I definitely want to kind of dive in there and get things tidied up a whole lot more. Out here, I kind of redid this Rascog cart. Um, I gave all of my ribbons kind of a designated home. These are the ones that are on a spool. These are kind of just um, free reign ribbons. Uh, yeah, I do actually use these for like gift wrapping decor occasionally. And so I do like to hold on to all my ribbons. And then on the top here, I have a whole bunch of extra supplies from our wedding. This entire bag is filled with um, fake pearls, <laughs> the entire bag. And then these are um, just kind of glass bead things that we bought but never ended up using. And by the time we figured out we weren't gonna use them, it was too late to return them. So I have seven giant things of glass beads. So who knows, I feel like I'll think of something to do with them at some point. So for now, they're just being stored there. And then over here, I have my bookshelf with all of my stuffed animals. I don't care that I'm almost 30, I love stuffed animals. And so I have a little like portion in my office to have all my cute little snuggly stuffed animals just kind of sitting out, including my Gidget from uh, when we went to Universal Studios from uh, Secret Life of Pets, love her. And then Boo, you guys might know Boo. He's a pretty famous Pomeranian on social media. And then just a whole bunch of random things. Miles got me this guy when I graduated college. Um, yeah, and I think those are all the important story ones. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is a bookcase. It has some old magazines. It has some books. It has on the bottom all of my um, photo albums. And then those books or those boxes are all filled with pictures as well. I am currently trying to think of a way to organize all of my like actual physical pictures um, that's on the docket for this year to get done. So yeah, hopefully this will turn into a much more organized system at some point. Oh, and there's more printed pictures in that Sterilite drawer thing there. That is a desktop organizer that I used to use but then stopped. Um, I think I'm going to keep it and try and use it for like an art table organizer or something like that. But um, yeah, that finishes up my office tour. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed getting that peek. And as you probably heard in the background, I think my husband is trying to get a hold of me. So I'm going to go call Miles back. <laughs> so again, we're kind of recycling another one of the meals that we had last week, but this one was such a huge hit that we just had to have it again. Um, I know I linked this recipe on the recipes we've tried and loved or something like that Pinterest board. So if you follow me on Pinterest, you can try this recipe for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's so good. It's turkey burgers and then tzatziki sauce. So it's healthy, but it doesn't even taste like turkey burgers. Like these are good for just like any regular burgers. They taste like beef burgers. So yeah, highly recommend this recipe. It is tasty. Okie dokie, it's the end of the night and we're gonna head up to bed. We watched, what, two episodes of The Magicians? Oh, yeah. yeah, something like that. And um, yeah, we're going up to bed. Do you have anything else you'd like to add for today? No, nothing mm. happened. I went to work. <laughs> yeah, today was Nothing kinda... happens when I go to work. Yeah. <laughs> I go to work and I come home. And I eat. 
Dinner was good, though. I'm glad you decided to make that again. That was really good. Yeah. You know what? What? Uh-huh. You know what I really want to make is the kielbasa and potatoes. Is that within your diet? Not really, but no. I'm going to figure it out. I guess. It's fine. <sighs> I'm quite aware that you want it. Well, we haven't made it in years. He used oh to make... Oh my god, it's not been years. Yeah, it has. Like when you first started, when we first started actually we making... it in this house. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. <laughs> All right, you guys have seen our dinners. If you know if we've had kielbasa and potatoes. Yeah, here's where the vlog since we moved in. Go ahead and take a look at them. But you're the one that thinks we've eaten it here. I, I why would I look at it? I'd be looking at I'd be looking for nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Anyways. I'm the one that cooks it. What? <laughs> so I would probably remember more since I cook it. Okay. But this is the meal that I've been asking for for like years because he used. Okay, can I finish my story? Sure. That there's this dish when he like when we first kind of transitioned from like freezer meals that you basically heat up in a pan to actually like cooking home cooking dinners and stuff. There was this one meal that he used to make pretty frequently, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we had kind of a rotation of a smaller number of meals since we were new to like making dinners, um, and it was like kielbasa potatoes, peas, and what kind of, like, seasoning? Hots. Yeah, hots. Like sandwich hots. Sandwich hots, really? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. That's funny. And it was so good, and it used to be kind of like one of our staples, and then we just stopped eating it. And I miss it. <laughs> it's so good. It is good. It was really good. The dog is, like, falling asleep. Did you fall asleep? asleep? She was, the whole time, she was like... <laughs> You a sleepy girl? Oh, hey, Munchkin. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You a sleepy girl? Huh? All right, we gonna go to bed. Yeah, we gonna go out to bed. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. and Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night. Are you stealing my kisses? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Mm-hmm.